how does the IFC manage the trade-off uh, between poverty alleviation on the one hand and financial returns on the other hand? It's a good question and we often get asked that. Um, both, I think, go hand in hand or hand in glove. Um, because we're a private sector uh, investor, um, we invest in businesses in the private sector. For them to be sustainable in the long run, they need to make a financial return. If they were relying purely on donor funding, and donor funding may work in certain circumstances, but generally the profit motive or the desire to make a financial return um, is, uh, we, we believe, creates efficiencies um, in, in the business. So how we reconcile the two is that by making the financial return, the company is great creating jobs, if we take that as an example, or in the mining and oil and gas space, generating royalties and tax, uh, paying taxes for the government. The government is getting the money, um, which it can then apply uh, for its budget. Um, and by being sustainable and being able to stand on its own two feet in an international financing so context. So you only invest in what you think will be profitable projects? That's correct. Sometimes they end up not being profitable, but going in, we have to meet two objectives. It has to be a financially sustainable, profitable project, two market rates, competitive rates, we can come back to that, and it needs to have a development impact, a positive development impact.